go shoot the 30 pointer. It's the big gun hunt from Wisconsin. Uh, it's the day where everyone gets to dress up like a giant pumpkin and go harass the crap out of the deer that are super tired and don't want anything to do with moving around. Uh, yeah, we're, I am going to hunt a lease this year. Uh, this will be the first time I've hunted private land opening day of deer hunting in a lot of years. 10 degrees and high of like 20 maybe with 10 to 20 mile an hour wind. So that's going to keep guys moving and on their feet. I'm excited to get two does and get the heck out of there. Call a wrap for these rascals. I've been giving her pretty hard this year. So we shall see you out there. Wrapped her right around the axle. Uh, so yeah, this is the valley I'm gonna sit. Well, I really like how this is set up. It's only really one blind spot I got, but I can shoot above it there. But anything coming from behind, if it stops there, I will not get a shot. But other than that, I think we've basically got it all covered. Uh, anything on this bottom shootable, I could shoot up on that side hill. So yeah, I like it. All right, blind all set up. Uh, dang, it's windy cold, but you get back in that valley, it's pretty decent. So, kind of excited about that tomorrow. Just kind of staying out of the wind. And uh, yeah, I think I got a pretty good spot. There's a ton of deer trails in there. Uh, I've only hunted that spot like one time this year. And it's basically had nobody in that valley all year, so. That definitely helps leave like a little sanctuary area for these deer, but it won't be a sanctuary tomorrow morning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we gotta go round up a few supplies for the boys coming over and we're gonna get ready for deer camp. No, we're not ice fishing. 
I wish we were ice fishing. Um, we're all set up here in the blind. Um, just waiting on the first gobbles of the morning. Oh, well, we're not. It feels like we're turkey hunting because normally I'm in a blind when I'm turkey hunting and not when I'm deer hunting. So I hardly ever hunt on the ground for deer. So this would be kind of something different. But uh, with the wind the way it is, I just think I'm going to be able to stay all day in this thing if I need to. So we're on the ground. You saw me set up the blind yesterday. And it's not quite light out yet. I'm in here super early, probably. That was in here 45 minutes, at least an hour before light. So I wish we were ice fishing instead of deer hunting, but there's some flurries. It's like 19 degrees, uh, stiff south breeze, like, which is kind of strange. It's just cold on a south wind, but it's, uh, I don't know, the wind chill's probably five degrees or so. I mean, it's chilly out. But uh, we're bundled up. I got some chili in the thermos. We had chili last night at deer camp. So I'm pretty much set for a day with my Pringles and some water. And yeah, we're just going to let it happen today. So hopefully we'll be uh, carving up some back straps this week. So that's the game plan anyways. First couple of does that come along are going to get some lead slung at them. So yeah, good luck to all you other guys. Hang tight. watching though trying to see what them bucks were and a couple of does broke off to the right of her and I didn't even notice them till the last second and they just kind of walked right out in front of me and I tried to stop her a couple times right. but she wouldn't stop in the right spot and finally got her to stop and bang and down she went she's just laying up here I'm gonna give her a while we're gonna sit here and wait we can see another deer but uh, yeah we'll just she's safe and secure right there and easy to get at or sit and wait for another dope I'm gonna get her drunk. 
truck down to where I can get her out of here. So. I got her gutted. And back where I can pick her up with the four wheeler, we're gonna go get back in the blind and set her out for a little while yet. update. Um, it's like 2.30 right now. It's still cold. <laughs> um, I got back in the blind at like, well, I don't know what it was, 10, 10.30 after I took care of that doe. And I had a group of six or eight deer come bombing through. Somebody kicked them out. They were running. Didn't know where to go. And <laughs> the does came down in there and of course, that half racker was with them. Stopped in there. I was on another doe. And I just, I couldn't shoot her because I didn't want him to run back over the hill to the neighbors again. So they kind of filtered up through the valley. Some of the does bedded down. And I was kind of waiting for them to get up. They were quite a ways off, a couple hundred yards. I had no shot. But uh, then all of a sudden this two-year-old came running off the ridge top come bombing down there and got those does up and they took off and then he milled around the valley for a little while and oh, that was like at noon or 12 30 or so and I haven't seen a thing since but I would expect guys to be coming back out here pretty quick for the last two hours for the afternoon hunt so hopefully I'll get some deer up and moving around for the last couple hours, but feet are just starting to get cold right now. I fell asleep for about a half hour, so I can't say that there could have been a deer came through at that time, but uh, yeah, we're just going to hang out here. I don't know, if I don't see anything by 3.30, I might sneak out by that corn for the last half hour and just watch that cornfield to see if something comes down to go into that cornfield but otherwise we're just gonna hold down forward here till shooting time and we'll get out of here so Morning. Sunday morning of the gun hunt. Um, five degrees this morning. It's chilly. Uh, no wind though today, or very little wind. So uh, we're back after another doe. Um, I am not gonna hunt all day today. Probably till 10 o'clock or so, and then I'm out and done. So 
see if we can go make it happen. Yesterday afternoon, I didn't get really much on camera, but um, that one two and a half that came through bedded up in that valley. I was watching him, and all of a sudden up behind me snuck a pretty nice buck. I just barely got a glimpse of it when it ran away, but that and one doe. So it was a pretty good day yesterday, so I'm hoping to definitely see some more animals today and yeah, hopefully we can get another doe shot. Well, no deer. It is quiet, quiet, quiet. Oh, the squirrels are out in full force this morning, though. It's uh, super calm. Cold, though. Man, it's chilly. That's how cold it is. Frozen. Oh man, I'm running out of patience for this gun hunt, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's about 8.30 now. We're probably going to sit another hour, hour and a half. Then I'm out. Uh, I'm going to go down today and my buddy Adam, Yana, if you watched uh, Swat and Nats, the last duck video, uh, him and his boy shot just two stud bucks on public land. <laughs> and from the same down tree, the same spot. It's, it's just an incredible story. So I'm going to go down there and do some pictures for him and he'll uh, get the scoop and try to throw a little something on this video about it. But yeah, the one's like 25 inches wide. I mean, it's just crazy. And that's his boy's buck, Tanner. And then he shot like, I don't know. It's, it's a big 10 pointer. I'd say for sure. 150. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just both stud bucks. So yeah, we're going to run down there a little later and check them out and do some photos for them. Uh, that's pretty crazy <laughs> two bucks of that caliber from the same spot on public land the same day so yeah congrats guys that was uh pretty awesome well that's gonna conclude opening day or weekend for me um yeah it's a typical sunday uh the deer were scared to death yesterday and they go hunker down and don't move unless you step on their necks pretty much so yeah, it was a pretty good opening day. This morning it was super cold and very, very quiet. So it's about all there is to it. Um, I don't know, we might be out Thanksgiving morning, do a little hunting, but other than that, I'm pretty much wrapping it up. I'm gonna have some, some other youth shoot me some does and I'd like to shoot one more for the freezer, but I'd like to put at least, I don't know, two or three more deer in the freezer before the year's out. There's tons of extra doe hunts and you name it. I mean, you can hunt till January for deer in Wisconsin. So no real hurry for me. I got one to nibble on right now and we'll just keep scratching away at them. So thanks for watching. Hey, don't remember to go hit that subscribe button. I don't tell you that very often, but that would help me out a ton if you went and did that. Morning. It is Wednesday morning of gun hunting season. Um, we're gonna sit here and see if we can shoot a doe this morning. I still need a couple more does for the freezer, so it's meat hunting time.
ฮะget the stove taken care of get her gutted and I'm gonna quarter these deer up and probably be my day processing deer like I said um, I have no problem eating six seven deer a year easily um, I shot a doe with my bow a month ago and it is all gone already so pretty much all I eat if I have venison I'll eat it almost every day so yeah lots of good eats right here check out the truck. two deer done and under an hour on the right on the tailgate I figured just leave all the mess out here instead of taking home making a mess so I mean the truck gets a little dirty but yeah I'm gonna go home and get those that one dough I shot this morning all cooled down and we're gonna process the other one so see you around